Welcome to the Grabbing the Brisket podcast. We definitely appreciate the listen. Do us a favor and click the like and follow to keep up with what's latest going on with the Grabbing the Brisket crew. Also, do us a favor, man. Drop us a review. We would love to hear the feedback. Good, bad, or Alden would say indifferent. Dang it, Bobby. Just grab the brisket. You weren't recording that shit? <laughs> God damn it. Quit saying shit like that. I gotta cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> that should be this. That, that is our new opening. Yeah. Wait, you weren't recording that shit? <laughs> no, we were talking about, we won't go into political bullshit, but we're talking about all the dummies that are just doing dummy stuff. All dummy stuff. You know, hey, it is what it is, but all I know is there's still plenty of wood. For me to go purchase, and there's still plenty of meat for me to go buy to mm-hmm. slap down on the smoker or the grill, or whatever I uh, am cooking at that particular day. So hey, I'm super thankful and super happy for that. I'll let all those dummies figure out what uh, <laughs> what the hell they're gonna do, and we're just gonna f- focus on grabbing the brisket shit. How about that? Sounds yeah. good. I'm okay with that. How's everybody's day been or week? This is kind of a weird one because we. Just recently recorded, mm-hmm. like Sunday, 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 I Sunday. May, Sunday. I may or may Monster not have been drunk for that episode. Yeah, you all were drunk. I think <laughs> we were all drunk. Uh, yeah, I, I listen to it and I listen to all episodes and I do them multiple times. And I'm like, oh, I sound so drunk in this episode. Did I sound drunk in that one? <laughs> no, I think you sounded good. Okay, good. Yeah, you weren't over over here all day drinking. No, beer. I think I was drunk by the end of the episode, but not at the beginning. Quite possibly. No, we, we started cranking down those. Um, what was the beers that we eat? Oh, yeah. The uh, Brewster, Cog- Brewster Cogburn. So. Oh, have you tried those, Matt? Mm-mm, no. So good, man. No. I give it a 9.3. Yeah, after the Cowboys lost in pathetic fashion and didn't go to the playoffs, John's like, hey, you guys want to record an episode? And I'm like, no, I don't right now. I'm not going to be on, any man. kind, I'm not gonna be any kind well, of positivity on this during thing. the game. Huh? I, was, well, I know, but then during afterward. the game. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, hey, well, all right. Game's over. Do you want to record? And then, no, the Niners are yeah, playing. Yeah, John. Like, the Niners are playing. <laughs> had no <laughs> shot at anything. I know you weren't even watching. I didn't even watch it. Yeah, you weren't even watching. I was it. doing other stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, funny. let's face it. The Cowboys did us a favor. They they lost early. Now, we weren't sitting around waiting all week and, I mean, all, all day to watch the Redskins and Eagles, and I'm sure that was a crap fest. So, glad I missed that one. Uh, me too. Yeah. Me too. Or did I? I don't know. No clue. Anyways, <laughs> what's new on the docket, John? What's uh, the, and I'm gonna circle back to the story I said. So it's it's kind of <laughs> difficult because I'm I'm ready to roll into start talking about the stuff we just cooked this weekend, mm-hmm. the stuff that we just did. And I'm mm-hmm. like, crap. We already talked about all that. <laughs> we pretty much already shot our wad. So now <laughs> we uh, now we're on to uh, the one thing I can say is I, I've been so I made a, a batch of potato salad, and uh, I got some for you, Matt. Oh, okay. you take them. Uh, it was so good. Was it? Yeah, and I'm still eating on it. So that that's one good takeaway from the weekend or whatever. I made the maybe potato salad, and then we had um, been eating it all, all week. So crank it down. I had some leftover pulled pork that we did uh, a cook before I left out of town on New Year's. So pulled that out. Pulled pork sandwiches. I mean, just great stuff. Was this like the uh, one that you did on Sunday? Yes, because that one was great. I love that one. Yes, it was like a very like like not chunky at all, kind of like creamier kind of texture. I kind of mashed it, and I I, I guess this is a debate for uh, we can start dis- discussing. We might have probably talked about it a little bit when we were mentioning probably barbecue sides or something like that. But I mean, potato salad is like really kind of not finicky, but people have their opinions mm-hmm. on what their potato salad for should sure. be. So. We'll what go it right should off, have in it, what it shouldn't have in it. Yeah, we'll go yeah. right off the bat. I mean, there, there's the creamy or chunky. I mean, that's the the peanut butter debate, right? I mean, are you buying the creamy or the chunky? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm okay with both. I don't want too chunky because then it takes away from the uh, you know the ratio of like the flavors because potatoes themselves don't taste like anything, right? So if it's too chunky, then you're not getting enough of the other flavors. But I don't want it to be mashed potato salad either you know yeah. what i mean like i need a little bit of chunk okay a little bit of chunk yeah i don't chunk. need chunk i like the chunky kind and i also like the not chunky kind yeah i just care how it tastes that's all i really care about yeah. that's yeah. True. so i tried not, i don't remember who i i saw this from but i i saw it read it somewhere 
on taking half of your potatoes out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I say? What is wrong with you? Is, you? Is that laughing? an inside joke or something? <laughs> Potato is a fun it. word for Alden over here. What the hell? I was, I was like, take no, half. I just didn't say it fast enough. I was. There's <laughs> all kinds of shit going on in his head. Alan had so many like, like puns just ready to fire off. He couldn't even like get it going. I was going, and then James, just, I was like, damn it, I missed it. Damn it, I missed it. Okay, go ahead and all say right, it. I'll go. cut it in. Okay. Yeah. It makes it like really awkwardly Matt, cut in. We're not talking about women. We're talking about p- mashed potatoes. You know, you like the chunky ones and not so chunky ones. And I don't know. Wow, yeah, it was like, that was like five minutes too late. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> like, I, I was about to go and then I was like, I can't say that, but I wanted to. And then I yeah. started thinking about it. I was like, fuck, I should have said it. Now, next time, just say it. Just <laughs> say it. Jeez, anyway, go. Ahead. Go, go, cut it go, go. So when he's like. <laughs> Daydreaming off in the distance. This is what's going on in his yeah. head. He's just processing those those what would you call puns or just the the, little, the little one liners one liners that he could sit there and maybe write them down. Yeah. So I pull out half the potatoes mm-hmm. and then the other half I'll start or start mixing and doing my flavors or whatever. And I'll I'll bring out the um, the mixer mm-hmm. and whip it pretty good. And then I'll. Put the uh, the other potatoes in there, and then I'll get a kind of a masher in there. I'll kind of mash it just a little bit, so so you get kind of the mixture of both the chunky and. Are you like cubing your potatoes and everything when you when you're boiling them? Yes. Okay. Correct. Do you, and you don't ever put them like in the fridge or anything to make them keep some of their form. Um. No. What's this? What are you talking about? Like, I know we usually when we do we we'll boil them or whatever, get them soft, and then we put them in the fridge because if you uh, if you mix in all the stuff too soon, then yeah, it turns into like mashed potatoes, basically. Okay, no, no, I didn't do that. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm not criticizing because I've had yours. Yours are great. I'm just wondering if you were doing the same thing. That, Thank you. No, no, we're doing. I mean, I understand the whole promise. I mean, our whole premise: you want to sit there and stop the cooking and mm-hmm. make sure the potato kind of holds its texture and all that mm-hmm. good stuff. So, but no, I don't do that. I just usually kind of reserve half the potatoes and mash one half really good, and the other one I leave kind of chunky, and then I mix it all together with the spoon. Uh, and then that's when I start, you know, add the mayonnaise and the mustard and all the other ingredients and start test, start tasting for, you know, the, the right flavor that I'm looking for. Right. That's the most important part, really. Like Matt said, it's texture is great, but you got to have the flavor. Flavor. Yeah. And you got to have, you got to, you have to have crunch. You know what I mean? Yep. I love the, I love the celery. I love the, the pickles, the onions and stuff mm-hmm. like that in there. Cause yeah, you had some, a little bit of raw onion in there, right? I did. Cause that's where I was getting my crunch. I yeah. like onions. So yeah, I was so, good with that. So I had raw onion, I had celery and then I had, um, pickles, pickles. Yeah. Yep. As long as it's not like a strict mayo based potato salad. I'm not with that. Uh, I mean, for us, we got to do a mixture of like mayo and mayonnaise. I mean, mustard and mayonnaise. I mean, the, mm-hmm. oh the, yeah, you got to. It's got to be yellow. It, That's all I care it's about. Yellow, if it's yellow, yellow I'll like it. I yeah. like right. the yeah, and I like the tartness. Like I know we add like a little apple cider vinegar to ours, mm-hmm. and it's I, I like it. So we never add the the apple cider vinegar. We we go with the straight just vinegar out of the the pickle jar. Oh yeah, we do that too. Yeah, a little okay. bit of the the dill pickle so just juice, pickle juice basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Juice, yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Huh. Although I've had some, uh, I don't remember where it was recently, and it was more of a sweet potato salad. Not sweet potatoes. It was potato salad, but there was just like a little bit of a sweetness to it, mm-hmm. and it was good. And it wasn't that better, sounds but disgusting. it was. That sounds horrible. Bite me, Matt. <laughs> well, I mean, that's exactly, exactly, well, well, mine, I use sweet pickles, so I don't know if you picked that up on potato I salad. I remember particularly now. Uh, I do use sweet pickles in it. Okay. So you do every once in a while. We'll get a little bite of the sweet pickle to go along with the the tartness of the mustard. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. It was yeah. good. Though. I don't remember. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Huh? Awesome sauce. Awesome. I mean, that, that was recipe? my positive uh, of the weekend. Are we putting a potato salad recipe out there, or is that, is that happening? Uh, let me I, talk to mom and see if mom wants yeah. to put her recipe out <laughs> there. Like that's for, for the everybody. competitions. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> we'll give you a recipe. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Foodnetwork dot com. Get a bowl, put some mustard yeah. in it. For the longest time, I would I would go to this before. I knew, my mom always made killer potato salad. Mm-hmm. Uh, like everybody out there probably listening, their moms or their grandma always made right. killer potato salads. 
me, I'm like, you, you obviously, like, you get a little lazy sometimes. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to kind of fake it a little bit. I'm going <laughs> to go to the grocery store. I'm going to buy their potato salad. And then I'm going to bring it home. And then what I usually do is just dump it into a bowl. And I get the mixer out because usually theirs is really, really chunky. Yeah. So I'll hit it with the mixer mm-hmm. just to kind of make it a little more creamier. And then I'll start tasting. I'm like, oh, okay, well, let me start adding a little pickle. Let me start adding onions. Let me <laughs> start adding maybe egg into it and stuff like that. Mix it up, put it on the table. People don't even know the difference. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little offended. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying I served that to you, John. <laughs> I feel like you probably did. Maybe that, so. That's what that was on Sunday. It Gosh, was just Kroger it. brand. <laughs> oh, not Kroger. <laughs> so, but I don't know. Maybe people out there listening can chime in on what they'd like about potato salad. It's not really a whole potato salad episode here, so, but... <laughs> now it is. Now tater it is. salad, Matt. Gosh. The tater yeah. series. <laughs> John, you cook anything lately? No, I've been working like crazy. I mean, oh. I guess the last couple of days I've been off, but I did not cook at all. I did nothing. I cleaned house. So you've been doing... You have been working a lot. You, yeah. Have you been running into any of these, like anti-maskers i'm not trying to go off into the political end or whatever but i always see the videos pop up and i find them just comical and hilarious you know both sides i'm like (laughs) i understand okay hey please wear a mask and i understand like other side like fuck i don't want to wear a mask and you know do what you want to do at home and all stuff like that so i kind of find it funny i don't yeah there's definitely those people out there and i'm not saying it doesn't happen on our airline because it probably does it definitely does but I think I'm just kind of lucky, and also I, I don't know if it's because I'm a guy and I'm big. A large guy. I don't guy. get a lot of I don't get yeah. a lot of trash anyway, but not just about masks, but about anything. For the most part, if I just say, "Hey, put your mask on," they just put their mask on. Yeah, yeah it's funny. We actually had this conversation earlier, and uh, I asked him that exact question. Like, you know, do you get treated different because you're you're a large dude? You know, like me and me and him were doing the same job. I guarantee I get treated different than he does. You know, but. Uh, right. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think it's just, it's probably a harder job for female flight attendants than it is for guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's the definitely way- people on there that hate it because I've seen some guys come on with masks that say like "this is tyranny" written on it or mm. other right, kinds yeah. of stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever, man. Yeah. Just keep it on your nose and mouth. Right. <laughs> and a disclaimer: I mean, John is is a a tall guy, pretty pretty big guy. He's not. Large, not large. I'm not in, fat. In I'm charge. super ripped. Right. Yeah. Uh, picture <laughs> like Hulk Hogan. I'm basically built like Hulk Hogan in like 1991. Right. Yes, okay. correct. Yeah. <laughs> the captain's like, oh shit, we got a slight disturbance on the left side of the cabin. Uh, we need to adjust air pressure. Air uh, yeah. wing. Fucking planes flying <laughs> like this or what? John, John stand in the middle. Just stay in the middle, John. Uh, I'm not that big. Yeah. So. We had, a nice, uh, we had a nice interview planned uh, with uh, Matt Crawford with Sasquatch Barbecue. That kind of got yes. delayed a little bit. We had a little technical difficulties with our computers. Yeah, that sucks. So that one may or may not still come out before this. It may. Yeah, uh, we're, we're still trying to work out the details. You'll never hear this because it's all going to work. Right, John well, will delete I, this up. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll leave it there. We'll see. You but know, the, maybe, it's, maybe it's fate, you know, because we are down a guy this week. So... Maybe it's getting pushed back a little bit. That way, Jan can actually be here. That's you know? true. It yeah. Maybe fake. Jan's so, in uh, his little quarantine. Jan um, is restriction until his coworkers or coworker has his little negative test. So, yep. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk should, to him later. Yeah, that should be tomorrow. So, you know, as long as his guy's negative, then I mean, yeah. Jan should be negative, right? I mean, I don't know all the rules, but you know. I don't want to talk about COVID no more. We just play by the rules. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. I just quarantine when I'm not supposed to. (laughs) I'm super, super dumb sometimes. (laughs) Alden, you have to quarantine. Like, okay, here we go. (laughs) Done it twice. I'll be in the garage. (laughs) Yeah, that's funny. Man, that little heater that I was talking shit about the other day. Like, so I'll come home, you know, because Manny's home all day. Garage is closed. It's fucking warm in there, dude. Like. Man, so I just sometimes just close the garage and I'm just in there like dude, saving propane. It's great. It's the greatest thing ever. Wait, What's so the what? You Your about? heater is not propane? No, not the little plug in one. Oh, you got like an electric plug in yeah, yeah, space yeah. heater? Yeah, a little bit space heater. That thing's awesome, man. Saves me a lot of dough. Hmm. Okay. So, anyway. So, when are we all taking Christmas lights down? That's what I want to know. Mine are, mine are down. 
Yeah. You did do that the other day. I saw that. Yeah. I didn't put very much up this year, though, so yeah. I feel like I won. I started taking mine down. I was getting disgusted with the Cowboys, and then I come back here <laughs> to watch a little bit, and then I go back and I take some more down, and I pretty much finished by the end of the game. Yeah, I would see how that's more fun than watching the Cowboys. <laughs> Chef Mine's a... Uh, yeah, edit that out, John. <laughs> um, my lights are going to stay up as long as uh, I feel like it, until I get at least a letter of like cease and desist from the HOA. <laughs> so, <laughs> Cease and desist. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sir... Christmas is over. Wait, I, don't, I don't even think <laughs> they. Down. I don't even they think. I don't think they come on this street anymore. Seriously, I ain't got a letter from those fools in a long time. I don't know who's the dude in the car. The dude that drove by when we were cooking the gator and we gave him a little piece because I've seen him at least oh, one more time yeah. since then. We bribed him. Ooh, That's what happened. See? We yeah, bribed see? him with food. Oh, yeah, wait, there you go. Some of those guys like they they roll up. I mean, just creepy as hell, right? It's like, and it could be a dude or or lady or whatever. And I'm just sitting. In my garage, looking at the street, and somebody just driving by slowly and right. just creepy. I'm like, I've seen too many like eighty and ninety gang movies where I'm like, holy shit, it's drive to be a drive by. by. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a drive SUV <laughs> right. uh, minivan. I'm like, eh, okay. Yeah. And just say we live on a cul-de-sac, right, so right. we see if somebody comes in, we see him going out as well. Yeah, yeah we're those yeah. neighbors. That every time a car goes by that we don't know, everybody just stops and stares at it. I always wave. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, we yeah, had nice of you. <laughs> we had one guy roll by, and he had a pretty pretty nice camera just sitting there hanging out the window taking pictures. Mm. And I'm like, "Well, that's odd." Uh, and then I, I was like, <laughs> "I don't know if you were here or Jan or, or somebody was like flagged the guy down. Like, what are you doing? Like, this is odd that you're just rolling down the street taking pictures. I mean, thank God my kid wasn't out here. It's like, like Google Earth or something." Uh, no, it was HOA. Really? He was taking pictures of all y'all's infractions, all the infractions and stuff like all that. All y'all's infractions. God. I usually, like, I usually right? leave out low hanging fruit for them. Uh, it, but they, you're right. They haven't been around in a while, but I usually like leave something easy for me to fix just cause if they're going to come by, they're going to get you for something. When's the last time any of y'all got a letter? It's I been got a while one for my barbecue pit sitting out front. Yeah. But then you just move it a couple houses down. You're good. I ain't got a letter I, since I can remember, dude. Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. A long time. And I got all kinds of infractions going on over there. Well, I guess not really. I haven't got like the, uh, I got like a gutter that's kind of hanging a little bit. There's some people they hound on that stuff, especially when Scott was here. You know, his lawyer asked, he's like, oh, no, I'm going to send him a letter. Nope, they can't do this to me. Yeah, Scott was Scott was the coolest HOA hater, man. It was it was awesome. Just the stuff he would go through just to not have to do what they wanted him to do. Right. I mean, being a, being a lawyer and knowing yeah, it, that's the key in anything in life. Know <laughs> knowing the rules, rules. everything. Yeah. Knowledge is power. <laughs> know all the rules. If you know all the rules, then you know how to get away from right following mm-hmm. the rules. Issues, right? Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, it's like. One time they, he rolled up the HOA with gave him a notice about mold on the side of his house. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, uh, we're gonna <laughs> do whatever the uh, whatever the HOA you have does. to have it cleaned off or painted or whatever. Right. Yeah, and then he sends him back a letter saying, "How do you know it's mold? <laughs> Did you test it? <laughs> I'm not doing anything until you provide a test of it. Right. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm like." Yeah, and they're like, if you send me another letter, I'm going to sue you, basically. Right. And then they're like, yeah, well, maybe it's not mold. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably right. It's just like green paint or something. Someone okay. said, hey, you're good, yeah. but we'll see you later. Now, mind you, not that we're trying to get over our HOA. Our HOA is, you know, it's fairly cheap around these parts. You know, what's, what's 100 bucks a year for us around here? Um, but what do we get out of it? There's that little tiny park. Down the street. Is that what it is? I think that's what you get. Uh, that's it. You got it. Well, for a hundred bucks a month. A hundred bucks a guess, month times a how many houses? Yeah. No, a yeah. year. Oh, I guess it's totally a scam. Yeah, hundred bucks a year. Your neighbor can't right. paint their ha- whole house like bright pink. I guess is what you get out of it. That's your surcharge. Your hundred dollars a month surcharge. It's dumb. No, it's only hundred dollars a year. It was sixty dollars a year when I moved in here. Uh, Crazy. Pearland. Huh. Some places are like eight hundred bucks. Beer view. Yeah, let's do the uh, grabbing the brisket. Beer we review. 
know what? I think horrible. Jan has been the problem because that just went perfect harmonization. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Let's talk about this beer we got. So we actually got this beer from Big Al. Alex has been on the show. He was super excited for us to try this. Not really sure why. It's actually a, uh, let's say what it is, I guess. It's called Seven Spanish Angels Cold Brewed Coffee Ale. And it's from Brazos Valley Brewing Company. All right, so I won't be sleeping Valley. tonight. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out to Alex. Hey, thanks for the brews. Uh, don't drought the soap. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> well, usually he's listening to us in the shower when he's going oh, to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Good job, man. That's funny. You made it funny. Um, well, Jan's not here to talk about the can. Do you want to tell us about the can? Uh, I, you know, even though it's a wraparound label that Jan hates, I like them. It's got a nice little uh, touch to it. It's got a little senorita with some uh, with some uh, feather earrings and a little gun. So yeah, I'm a fan a, of that. Not a, not a little gun. She got a goddamn shotgun right yeah. there. She's that a Spanish. Like lever action to me. She means business. Yeah, it looks a little thirty thirty. There we may, go. That may be a breakover shotgun right there. Color school. We use chocolate, brown, and biscuit malts with light sea hops, then blend with Independence Cold Brew Pecan Coffee. Nice. Hmm. Texas is, made, Brennan brewed. Six point five percent alcohol by volume, uh, twenty one IBUs, and sixteen SRMs. So if you like that kind of SRMs, that's exactly how many SRMs I like. In that's my how I prefer my SRMs. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's taste it to be sure because I can definitely tell if there's only fifteen SRMs. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look back at it. <laughs> RPGs. I see I, mean, I, love, yeah. I, <laughs> I love the uh, acronyms here. All right. DWIs if you drink too many of these bad boys. Exactly. Well, if you like cold brew coffee, you're probably going to like this beer. Uh, Seven Spanish Angels. That's a Willie Nelson song? Yes. 100%. Yes. I like that song. But I like this. This is not bad. Do you like cold brew coffee? No, not at all. Really? <clears throat> no, I like hot coffee. Hot, black coffee. But uh, this is pretty good. I actually do prefer cold coffee. I, I That's so like weird. Both. I can't do the hot. Like, even if my coffee gets kind of cold, I can't do it. But I can't do it if it's hot. I got to pour enough water, like cold water in there to where I can just drink it. That's how I like. That's how I enjoy my coffee. Well, I feel like we're on the same page. I don't want to. I don't want to sip it. But if it gets too cold, yeah, I don't want to like out of there. Sip it. My tongue like gets scalded. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't like it that hot. So you don't like that McDonald's coffee? No, no, no. I'm, I don't like that lawsuit. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody would get that one. I like it though. I do. It's. I mean, it's on par it's with. Good. It's not too coffee. Coffee. It's not too. Um, what kind of beer is this? Yeah, it's is a it coffee say? stout. Is yeah, it? It's got to be a coffee an stout. Ale. Coffee it's ale. ale. I was going to say, ale. it's not a stout because it's, it's definitely yeah. not stout. It, it's very just smooth. It is smooth. Super smooth for a coffee ale. Yeah. This is, I don't know, we've only done a handful of coffee ales, but this has got to be one of the better ones we've tried. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I'm getting a lot of chocolate or pecan flavors out of this, but. I was going to say I'm getting something other than coffee. I don't know if it's chocolate yeah. or pecan or what, but there's something else in there. Yeah. Hmm. Might be chocolate, maybe more like a like a cocoa bean. Oh, not a sugary deal. chocolate. Yeah, like, like a actual cocoa bean chocolate. Yeah. Well, it looks bittery like they're chocolate. they're kind of centrally centrally located in between Austin, Houston, and College Station. So, <clears throat> people that are listening in Texas should be able to put their hands on this, and I'm sure yeah. if they went to H E B, they can probably grab it. That's where I got it, and uh, yeah, there's actually a map on the back of this thing that tells you how far it is to Austin. And Houston and all the other, whatever you just said. Alvin, what do you rate this beer? Uh, from one to ten. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, did I, what did I say the other day? <laughs> oh, uh. What did I say the other day? I haven't, I haven't listened to that episode. What did you say about what? The last beer we did? I don't know. Why Why? why you got to tell me one to ten? I must have said like twelve or something. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'll edit your score in. Matt, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I mean... As it takes one more the sip. more my, I guess my, so-called palate changes, the more all these kind of beers start tasting the same. Uh, hmm. That's COVID, is, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could you back away? Please? I never, I never did lose my uh, my taste or smell. Oh, okay, um, but I like it. I'm gonna, 
This is a, a solid, especially since Jan's not here. Seven point five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's, uh, that is considered a very good beer. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in on that because that's I've given this seven point six. So uh, me and Alan are right on the same page. I like cold brews. Um, uh, you know, sometimes you just like I just want a coffee ale. Mm-hmm. You know, like if it's it's in the night and you've been drinking a bunch of beer, you might be getting a little tired. Just drink one ca- coffee ale, throw that in there, it'll perk you right back up and keep drinking again. So does this one rank pretty high for you as far as coffee ales go, or is this yeah. just okay? It's it's good. I like it. Okay. It's a good coffee ale. James, I see you doing a little extra swish over there. Yeah. Really trying to get all the flavors. Are you spitting all the trying flavors? to get all the yeah. flavors on all my taste buds? All I don't seven, know how getting it into your upper angels. lip is helping with that. <laughs> I but, save uh, it. It yeah. just kind of okay. aerates up there. Yeah. You don't have to gargle. <laughs> and then I give like a little taste. <laughs> oh, well, there it is. Uh, no, it, it's definitely a tasty beer. Yeah. I really don't have too much to knock about it. I mean, it, it's uh, very smooth and I'm not a huge just coffee flavored type stuff so yeah. but if you're into that then you'll you'll probably love it and it'll be right up your alley i'm probably gonna go maybe a 6.9 okay it's a it's a good beer i'll tell you i don't want to drink a six pack of these no no no, no, no definitely give me either. just throw one in between everything yeah. else you're drinking you know yeah. if, you, right. if you're going to heb and just like they have that little singles maybe mm-hmm. just grab one yeah build your yeah. own six pack build yeah. your own six pack i think everything we reviewed on this podcast i don't want anything more than the one we're reviewing besides Bud Light. That's all I want more than We've more. never reviewed Bud Light. Well, we have. Well, okay. I have. I missed it. It must be hilarious but. when he doesn't give it a perfect 10. <laughs> eh, it's like a 6.4. It's not the best beer. It's just, <laughs> it's just my beer. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all right, John. What do you think, homie? Uh, I think it's good. Um, I'm pretty close to where you guys are. I'm probably going to give it about a six. 7.9 it's almost a great beer it's for a coffee beer it's it's great what does that mean for a coffee beer i'm not a big coffee beer guy oh, most okay. of the coffee beers i've had i've probably those are probably my lowest scoring beers i'll say i don't know but if i've ever I had like a coffee it. ale before a lot of coffee yeah, stouts and things like that i don't know about a coffee ale what is though. the uh was it the uh more cowbell that was a coffee ale i think wasn't it I don't know. We rated oh, that cool. one low. That was got to be one of the lowest ones. That one and the uh, Wake and Bake. Was that early on? That one was pretty low, too. How do you too. remember all these? Was that I'm early on? Right now. Especially for me, because <laughs> if that was early on for me, I would have been like, nope, this yeah. sucks. This yeah. sucks. Those are, yeah, some of our lowest ranking. Some of these I think we should probably go ahead and re-review it. I think so as well. Because Old Alvin's like, that's not Bud Light. That's old terrible. Al- old Alvin's <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah. We should, yeah, we should redo it. I do have a uh, six-pack of... Pit Pat Peanut Butter Porter. Do you remember that one? I do remember it has that. a little Casper the Ghost. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So I have well, a six-pack of that That's what Jan mentioned about uh, trying to advertise to your kids and drinking their chocolate <laughs> milk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Wasn't yes. that one like super thick or something like that? I don't really yeah. remember. I remember I liked it, but it, it wasn't like one of our best scoring ones. But I got some, so we can we can try it again. Because I remember liking okay. it. All right. Great. Okay. Well, what does that conclude, James? This concludes the grabbing the brisket. Beer Okay. Well, Jan, you're fired. In there. Jan is fired. Jan. <laughs> How are you gonna get fired on your day off? <laughs> Love that movie. Mm-hmm. What movie? Friday. Friday. Has no joke. Okay. Yeah. Joke about. It. No. <laughs> You've been watching like old movies with uh, with Emma stuff like that. So trying to find the ones that are more like age. I was about to say, did you watch that one? Did not watch that one. I'm waiting to bust that one out. She's going to get a few years more uh, older. But we did watch Rush Hour. Oh yeah, <laughs> anything Jackie Chan, I love Jackie Chan, Chris I just Tucker. Love I mean, that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she she found. I think she got distracted. She found it entertaining, but she got distracted and, and she rolled off or whatever. But she oh. did uh, one night. I think we we're out here. Uh, her and Laura watched Sandlot, mm-hmm. and what was the other movie that they watched? It something else. I was like, oh. You can't watch this movie without me, right? Well, yeah. Just just tell me you're watching the movie, and I'm just gonna be like. Hey, everybody, y'all got to go home. I'm going to come in here and watch this movie. But, yeah, Sandlot, I was like, she wants to watch My Girl. Uh, and I'm like, ah, it's, 
Really sad. Such a sad movie. She's like, yeah, I already watched the trailer for it. I already know she dies. I'm like, I'm watching trailers. <laughs> well, she don't die. Not, I mean, he, he dies. dies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, quit watching trailers. That, she's like, hey, let's watch this movie. She's like, let's watch the trailer for it. I'm like, no, well, you can't do you that. You need to watch yeah. the trailer for it. You're just going to see the whole movie in like right. 45 Especially seconds. Especially like older trailers, like 80s, 90s. They just gave you the whole movie in the trailer oh, yeah. back then. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I haven't watched My Girl since I was probably... Nine. I don't know. Yeah, it's been a long out. time for me. Yeah, for sure. Um, Sam, lot though, I've seen dozens of times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're holding off on the the Stand by Me. I mean, what, that's going to be the next movie that I. I don't. Know. I'm pretty sure my kids have seen that. Yeah, I don't know what age appropriate is to watch Stand by Me. I mean, it's not horrible. Then it involves like death and mm-hmm. the Wait, dead is that body. The one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that stuff like that. But I mean, I mean, I'm sure she's pretty good. I mean, she. Her favorite show is um, Criminal Minds. Oh, she's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. She can watch what okay, she wants to. Right. Correct. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure she's okay handling all that good stuff. Right. Haven't been a lot of movies lately. We have, we finally finished uh, season three of Cobra Kai. I haven't started it yet. Yeah. We're starting it. We have not finished it yet. And my son is he's seven, right? And but. It's like he 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 kind of just like hangs around. He'll be playing on a switch or something like that. But then we noticed through the show he was just sitting there like super attentive, like watching, watching the yeah. whole thing. Like like he was like really fun. something. Like, hey, got you his like interest. this show? And he's yeah. like uh huh. Like he was just really into it. Like Luke, you want to do karate? He's like yes. Maddox <laughs> just told me yesterday I want to do karate. Yeah, it's probably they've probably been talking. So yeah, I can just yeah. imagine Luke just sitting there looking, just like <laughs> trying to like. Yeah. I'm memorizing all the memorize moves. Memorize the karate moves. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah. Maddox is going to come tomorrow. in. He chopped me in the head. <laughs> well, he's been, I think Luke's going to end up being kind of shorter. So he's been, he was kind of like, Dad, I think I'm going to be shorter short. Shorter than I me? I think I'm short, Dad. And I was like, well, you know, they're like martial arts you can learn that benefit short. Like, you want to do judo, the shorter you are, the better. You can throw those people around. He's like, okay, I like this. You know, so I don't know. I think I think he's going to be starting to get into martial arts. You're lying to him. Hey, uh, that's it didn't okay. Work for me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, so they were watching uh, Good Burger yesterday, which Good Burger is a great ass movie. Yeah, they're watching. Who's that? Your daughter or all the kids? <laughs> all the all three kids oh, really? were at my house yesterday. Yeah, no. Good Burger is awesome. I don't and remember it, that movie at all. No, Keenan and Kel. Mm-hmm. I watched like three seconds of it. I was like. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Like, how are you guys <laughs> well, watching this? This was 20 years ago as yeah. well. So it's still a great movie. I sat there and watched it with Avia. Like I was like, <laughs> that yeah. explains it. Yeah. Did you want some orange soda afterwards? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger. I want a Good Burger. Can I take you? That was the first thing I thought about when Caleb put the thing on because it was like, it didn't. Say, it said Good Something Burger. What was the name of that place that had the tasty AF beer? Oh, the new burger place that took over the yeah. beer garden. But I mean, it's honestly, good something, yeah. right? I really hate that they took that place over. I know. Well, yeah, I'm sure Matt does too. I'm I'm upset because I had a lifetime membership to the beer garden and now it's closed. There's another beer garden. I don't know if it, your it's your membership city. Or, and one well, downtown as well. Might as well be New York City for all I care. <laughs> New York, New York <laughs> City. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into. What was that? What was that reference though? To it's the pace. Pace for County. County yeah, That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm sure, everybody wants to hear about beer yeah. gardens that they have no clue this what is true. it is. <laughs> this is true. This is true. All right. I got sixty weird facts that people do not know. Let's get comfortable, get people. All of them in a row, starting with number six. We will not go all sixty. <laughs> go. I've only read the first couple, so I'll. <laughs> Start with the fourth. Flamingos bend their legs at their ankles. What? Not no, their no. knees. I can bend my leg at my ankle too. Well, I don't understand what you're really? saying. So can Dak Prescott. <laughs> God, their ankles. <laughs> so wait, that's their feet. Right. So their whole feet doesn't touch the ground. They're just walking on their tiptoes all the time. Is that what this means? I think that's what it means. <laughs> that's just fucking weird. Are you getting? Are you getting that visual? Like <laughs> yes. when they they pick their leg up or whatever. Oh, so they tuck it. The rest of it in there. The whole thing is their foot. Oh, no, no, that, so they're on their tiptoes. their tiptoes. Just I don't. know. I was just like, yeah, I can bend my foot at my ankle. Yeah, too. kind like, of like give you a visual. I mean, is it huh. just me or flamingos seem super pretentious? <laughs> yeah, I think we did. Like, why? Do you, do you know why they're pink? Because they got the same. Yeah, it's because they ate a lot of it's shrimp. Something to do with it, but they eat, right? Yeah, because yeah. they, they the they shrimp, eat a lot of eat. shrimp. So yeah. they eyed nine, and because they're garzas, right? So if they ate brisket, they'd have a smoke ring. This is true. Ooh, they'd be red. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Love it, John. I don't right. know one of these. Here we go. Roller coasters were invented to distract Americans from sin. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Sin. Now I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. So, in the 1800s, a businessman by the name of LaMarcus Thompson hated Americans were so tempted uh, by the hedonistic places like saloons and brothels, he set out to straighten out one of the most immoral places that he can think of, <laughs> Coney Island, New York. New York. Okay. So he, there he built America's fo- first roller coaster uh, to give uh, New Yorkers some good, clean fun away from their seedier pastimes. Really? Wow. Yeah. Hmm. When's right. the last time you've been on a roller coaster? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been years. Uh, it hasn't been that long for me. I mean, we go to... We frequent like Kima every now and again. We get on the bullet. The bullet's still a solid ride in Kima. Um, I'd say three years. Yeah, Damn, I would say at least three long. years for me too. Yeah. My cousin used to design roller coasters. Oh, oh nice. I, mean, I used to be yeah. like terrified of roller coasters. Like like everybody else would go on it. No, I'm not going. I'm staying right here. I, I like living. Roller coasters. Yeah, but then I like do. something just clicked and I rode one one time and then I was like, oh, I'm doing all of it. And I did the big. You know, you get on the swing, like the huge arch. Have you ever seen those things? And they just let you go and you free yeah, fall. I don't do those. And then I did. I went to this other. Um, I went to this other one. So this is a cool. It's a free fall. Have you ever done those ones? They have they like just a drop. net. Yeah, they have a net, and you lay on the net, and then they just pull it out, and you just drop with nothing connected mm. to you to another net, like like a hundred feet down or something like that. That's you, dumb. That was. That is, yeah. like did y'all see that fucker that did the longest jump without a parachute and survived? Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, the airplane. Landed, yeah, basically landing into a big ass net and just, but like when he jumped, like the the, the landing site looked like it was in fucking Lubbock, Texas, from here. <laughs> but like it's like it looks like it's like that shit was way over there. And uh, I mean, he jumped, he jumped out of parachute, and he landed in the goddamn net, and it just. And I was thinking like, well, when's it about to toss him out? And it never did. Like he fucking made it. It was like thirteen thousand something feet. That's just just a, jumped into yeah. a dumb like out of a plane. I'll never do that. That's just I'm, I'm no. good. Yeah. And if he misses it, then he just oh, you're dead. Like, like, is there like a and it was like, on live TV? A big wind gust comes through and you're just dead right. now. Yeah. Right, right. And it was on live TV. I mean, oh. it, it was actually cool. I watched the video and and it was impressive. I mean, it was like two years of work. I mean, he didn't just say like eh, I'm doing this tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> but how do you practice that though? <laughs> Honestly, how do you practice that shit? Mm-hmm. I don't know I, either. Who knows? You do a lot of skydiving and then you don't pull your shoot until the very end i mean you lost a lot of money it, in the stock market and you're just like i'll do it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one change in the wind and you're like well uh, shit. out of there yeah like for right. sure all right here's the next one sloths can hold their breath longer than dolphins what really that's true that's sinking for a minute false uh it's actually like <laughs> this is not true <laughs> false <laughs> nine minutes actually they what, can hold their what, breath what? That is that is incorrect. Okay. Yeah, so seven a sloth, minutes, you idiot. By slowing their heart rates down, sloths can hold their breath for up to forty minutes. You see how fast you see how fast they move, said. right? Yeah. Wait, what how do we know that and why do they do that? Who who's the throwing these need fools need in the water? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, hey, like, let's see how long you let it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like holding is that it what they do? <laughs> Do you know there was a scientific study that did that? <laughs> I'm sure some American some tax dollars went to like fund this. Stupid you know? ass dummies in the government. It's like let's go ahead and just do some uh, uh, air breathing type. Where, where'd this thing come from? I don't know. Throw it in the water. All right. Let's see. Right. It's been about 40 minutes. This fool's uh, still that's alive. Awful. Right. Yeah. How can we extend Americans from? Uh, holding their breath underwater, <laughs> these sloths can do for forty minutes. You know what's Let's messed up? Spend a billion you know dollars to figure out why. You know why they know it's forty minutes? Because some sloth died. <laughs> like somebody yeah. held it under yeah. died. Yeah. Wait, wait, forty-one minutes. No, messed never up. Never mind. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> it's forty minutes. Okay. This is horrible. Yeah. This, yeah, this, um, this yeah. bro is just going, <laughs> man. He's just yeah. living some... his best life. That that sloth was living his best life and just like ah. Uh, zo- <laughs> and they don't move fast enough. They don't. And has there ever been any study that shows that sloths move faster than the water? No. Like turtles, right? Wait, why are we assuming yeah, I mean, that they were testing how long they hold their breath by putting them in the water? 
I don't know. How else they hold their breath? I, I think they obviously just they must their, just hold their breath because they don't move very fast. Like they don't breathe very I often. I think right? some scientist put his hands around the throat of a sloth <laughs> and held it underwater until he can breathe anymore. It's kind of or just threw him or just threw him in the water. I don't think they put a sloth in the water. I don't think that happened. Oh, okay, I don't right. know. <laughs> I'm sure there's some scientific way they do it that doesn't hurt mm-hmm. the animals. Mm-hmm. All right, here uh, Fruit Loops are all the same flavor. Yeah, I, I agree with that. That's true. 100. Is that true? Yeah. They John, are. John's like, what? Wait, what? That stings. Tricks are not though. John, you're like, well, why do I pick out? Kids, why so do I pick out all the true. green ones? Silly oh. rabbit. I don't like that. Don't be skipping any. Supermarket <laughs> apples can be a year old. What? I know they they do some crazy stuff. What do they? Extend what, fruit and and what do they keep them at? On a tree? No, inside the, the supermarket. The, <laughs> Well, they cover they cover it in wax. Yeah, I know. They hot, they hot air dry it, and then they send it to a cold storage, <laughs> and it sits there for six to freaking twelve months. Then it goes to the grocery store. That's then what happens when it. you want to have apples and the non-peak shit that seasons. Alden says sometimes. <laughs> for those of you at home, Alden is actually very smart. He just says some dumbass shit. Yeah, yeah. You only edit in the dumb stuff. <laughs> this is true. true. <laughs> this is true. All right, here's one. So it's impossible to hum while holding your nose. That can't be true. <laughs> it's very true. I just tried to. <laughs> I think everybody right now is listening. Hold is on. Everybody to... try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I felt like a sloth. I got to pee. I hope it's just pee. I don't know. Oh, God. I feel like I got the first note out and then it stopped. <laughs> Right. If any of you at home can I can hold your nose and um, or sneeze and, um, with your eyes open, they we'll send they you a fully now. cooked brisket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wrapped in wax from six months ago. Great, we're gonna need some solid proof though. <laughs> Man, I really want to try that again. Do it again. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, doesn't What's work. It? Doesn't it, work at all. We're waiting on Alden. Or no, Alden's peeing. Continue so, on. Octopuses have three hearts. I think you mean octopi. Yeah, octopuses. What's wrong with you? It doesn't. It says octopuses. <laughs> oh, that's a different breed. Three hearts. Uh, yeah, well, three hearts. They're aliens, so that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, they have eight legs. Oh. Good contribution, John. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Editing that out. <laughs> mm, this is one. Uh, so people used to say prunes instead of saying cheese when they were taking pictures. Really? Prunes. Yeah. This goes prunes. back to. Uh, uh, 1840s prunes. That, that makes would, sense. That would be like duck That's lips, when people it? stopped eating prunes. prunes. Wait, what was the prunes? People used to say prunes instead of cheese when you're taking a picture. Watch, say prunes right now. Well, that don't bring the teeth out. Say it. Say prunes. Prunes. Yeah, that's like yeah. the duck, duck lips. Face. That's yeah. where duck face came from. Prunes. Prunes. <laughs> when he says people what used to, he means there? like 2011. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. In the Philippines, in the Philippines, McDonald's serves spaghetti. I think we touched that. We have touched on that. Bit. Um, have we eaten on that? Did you guys see the TikTok? Uh, the dude's uh, buying alcohol or something, and the guy's like, "Oh, let me see your ID." He says, "Do I need to take it out of my wallet?" And they go, "No, I can see the one." Have you seen that? The one that yeah. works in Mexico. They don't work in no. In he the says, Philippines. "He says, do I need to take my ID out of the wallet?" They go, "No, I can see the one." He's like, "Oh, I can see the what one?" one? He's like. Yeah. At the beginning of the year you were born, which... If you have a one in front of the beginning of the year... Yeah, if there's a one at the beginning of the year you were born... You're old enough. You're old enough to buy alcohol. This is true. Wow. Isn't that... that, The dude in the video, obviously, was like... uh, Like, mind blown. (laughs) Whatever. This is true. I was just thinking about that. Like, the people from the year that I graduated high school will be buying alcohol this year. They'll be 21 this year. Hmm. Uh, I'm going home. I feel old. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm done. Mine will only be 20. That was 01. A couple more facts, yeah. Matt. I'm looking for a good one. You learn the facts of life. We're watching the facts of life. The facts of life. The facts of life. What movie reference is that, uh, Mr. Uh, Josh? I got a good one for you. Lobsters taste with their feet. 
taste with their feet? With mm. their feet. So their mouths are on the feet. Tiny bristles inside a lobster's little That's pincers bullshit. are their equivalent to human taste buds. Meanwhile, lobsters' teeth are in one of their three stomachs. Lobsters are one of these foods some professional chefs cook in the microwave. I don't know why I put that in there. So wait, why do, where so does they it got, put their food? They got taste buds in their feet, and they got teeth in their stomach. So, it, wait, But it still puts the food in its face, right? Like where else would it put it? I don't know. It has <laughs> taste buds on its feet, so it tastes it, well, it and tastes, then decides whether it, or not it wants it to eat it. It tastes like their feet and go, oh, that tastes like shit. That so tastes dude, like shit. Oh, so that does, tastes like That this. sucks. And they stick it in their mouth. So you don't even get to make the decision whether or not you want to taste it. Does crawfish just, eat the same way, too, than lobster, I mean, the crabs? I'm going to go with yes. 100%. I'm going to say that's, yes. not, that's not accurate. <laughs> okay. Don't you question that. Now I feel cheated. Three Musketeers bars got their name because they used to come with three flavors. Hmm? That's why it's three Musketeers. What were the three flavors? Let's see if it says. Did they go Neapolitan? There was a vanilla, a chocolate, or strawberry. Wow. World War II rations made that that triple threat expensive, so the company cut down to just one. So it was all three flavors in one bar? No, it was three different flavors. Like, you got three different kinds. I think it was like... Three bars in one pack. It was one bar, but it was like half it's chocolate, it's half three pack. vanilla. It was a three pack. It's a three pack. So, oh, so you would get a pack and it had all of them. Like a Neapolitan? Ah, yeah. Why didn't they change Damn, the name? I want like a... Good point. Is why why didn't like they change the one nougat? Nougat? Yeah, there's Because one I don't like there. this list. <laughs> this list is not like accurate. List. That's literally my favorite candy bar. Really? Really? Yeah. I love Three Musketeers. I also like Milky Way. It's your favorite though? Fun fact. Huh. What you must like Mars bars too? I don't know that I've Milky Way is just it's just the Three Musketeers but with the caramel. caramel too, right? Yeah, I like that. That's yummy. Well, I'm gonna have to do. I a, know we we a have a bar. fun story about the uh, or did we already do that about the the criminal beginnings of Mars? Yes, I remember that. Yeah. Yep. Mm. On this podcast, mm. Mm. yeah, I remember if we we told the story or not. Oh, I, I don't know. I must have been drunk. Research guy. Yeah, yeah. Alton. Okay. What? Carry on. Carry on. Okay. Uh, How often do you have to say that in your life, John? Uh, Carry on? Yeah. Enough. (laughs) Yeah, I'll take another Bud Light. This is weird right here. Like, before toilet paper was invented, Americans used corn cobs. That I've ours. heard of. Wait, wait, actually, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. If you're the, in the, the cob or the husk, the no, you eat the corn. Okay. What's <laughs> left like, of it? Corn cobs. Not the not the outside. He's part. saying cob. He's not the saying husk. husk. No, not the husk. Wait, which part is the, the husk? husk cob is the part you eat. No, you eat the corn off the cob. After that, you oh. have just the cob. Then you wipe your ass with it. Okay. Have you guys never wiped your ass with a corn cob? Really? What do you do in California? What's probably... wrong with you, people? <laughs> Call yourself a scout. <laughs> I use a pine cone like a man. Okay, jeez, that'll use, leave a mark. You use poison <laughs> ivy like a uh, like a. Couple more before man. we uh, we'll, we'll close it out. A couple more. Empire State Building has its own zip code. Oh, so really? That's, that's interesting. That is pretty interesting. What is it? <laughs> one. It is one zero one one eight. One zero one one eight. That's just weird. Super weird. Hmm. Hmm. What's the next one? Hmm. A blue whale's tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. I agree with that, 100%. <laughs> what do you mean, I agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I got to. Uh, according good. to my calculations. Sometimes, sometimes uh, I got right. to reiterate, yeah. you know, and. Uh, Glad you approve. I was going to say two elephants. Glad you approve with that fact. And not a baby elephant. Yeah. <laughs> you know how big their wing is? There it is. It's an elephant. <laughs> that's part of the, the Alden really smart stuff you were yeah, talking about an, earlier. That's an Aldenism. Okay. <laughs> How big is their wing? I can't <laughs> help that I watch stupid shit like that. Hey, welcome around here. So when that thing comes out, that's about a blue whale wing. Uh, wing. It's actually not that big, but it's pretty big. Here's one. Uh, the U.S. Treasury once printed $100,000 bills. Wow! Wait, I think they printed. I think they printed bills, or a hundred thousand dollars. I think they printed more than that. A hundred thousand dollar bill. I think one hundred thousand dollar bill. Oh, so bill. one one bill was worth one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Who's on the face? 
Uh, How, what year was it? 100 Franklin. 35. John Adams. No, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, what's the other guy? Richie Thomas Jackson. Jefferson. No, the other guy. Reggie With Jackson. the white hair who signed the declaration. <laughs> you know what I'm talking John about? John Hancock. That guy. John Hancock. Nope. It, Herbie Hancock. First name, uh, first name starts with Wood. Woodrow Wood. Wilson. There it is. Really? He was the 11th president. That's cool. He? I want to get one of those. Woodrow yeah. Wilson was the 11th president, I think. That's not... I wonder how rare that is. 27th president. Do you know what a flock <laughs> of ravens is called? A murder. Right? That is false. Oh. It's not? A congress? No, that's monkeys. A flock of crows is murder. Is, is murder. A flock of ravens? Oh, it's something just really weird, isn't it? It is. Why, yeah. are you talk- why do you say that? Because fucking uh, Ray... What's his name? Play for the Ravens. He was a murderer. Ray. That is not the Ray reason. Lewis. That Ray is Lewis. not the reason. What's wrong with this? <laughs> I had you stretch my brain a little bit to get there. But yeah. Okay. Next week, Ray Lewis is on the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a flock of ravens is called unkindness. Oh. Oh, there's an unkindness of ravens coming. <laughs> I saw a flock of yes. unkindness going by. That's exactly. just dumb. Uh, wow. They're also known as a conspiracy. Jeez. Please. When's the last time you saw a raven? Who I don't think up I've with this crap? ever seen a raven. That's some really insufferable. Can you tell the difference between a raven and a crow? I, I, I don't know. No clue. I'd like to come up with the names of these sort of things from now on. All right. Okay, that's about all. I mean, there's literally like a whole lot more. So can we, can we save a, some for another we, episode? We can save some for yeah, the bookmark. That. Do one more. Next <laughs> hey, one real quick thing is like, did y'all see the news about Dr. Dre? Oh yeah, he had aneurysm. Yeah, he and had somebody tried to break in his house. I didn't see about the house. You didn't break see in. that? Yeah, somebody tried to break into his. They saw it. While the he's next in... day, he's in the hospital. Four people tried to break into his house. So he has like all kinds of security. So they got caught, oh, busted. But what kind of asshole? Right, uh, thugs. The, the yeah. kind of person who breaks into Congress. The kind I'm of guessing. people that <laughs> the same guys that like yeah storm Congress. Uh, some get same <laughs> kind of people that listen to Dr. Dre. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. I'm just kidding. I love Dr. Dre. Wow. Now he's not coming on the podcast. Shit. I think we can right. still get him and him. Let me text him and I'll tell him no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. They were like, people were tweeting out like, no, 2021, please don't take Dr. Dre. You're like, no, Dr. Dre is going to be a good. He, he's going to be all right. <laughs> right. Yeah. They said he was doing better already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing good. Yeah. So. Super solid well, podcast. Uh, I don't know about all the potato salad talk in the beginning. We hope you guys stuck around to the end. Dude, I think that was the best part. Probably. That's the foundation I think of the episode. people learned something during that part. The rest of it, they were like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? Hey, yeah. Hopefully their drive time and their, 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 their workout or their cutting lawns or whatever it is went by a little bit quicker. A little bit smoother. That last one, that's when I listen to podcasts. When nice. I'm mowing my lawn. I haven't listened to podcasts in a while because I haven't had to mow my lawn. I've been just listening to a lot of like Joe Rogan podcasts and like a bunch of weird out there ones like with Alex Jones and all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> As I'm working from home, you know, just have that. It's so weird. Listen, listen like to the dude. Wheeler Walker Jr. one. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> okay. Not to get off on a, uh, like a tangent or just a whatever, but I mean, these podcasts, they get super famous and super whatever. Obviously, they don't have nine to five jobs, and right, they could just say whatever the hell they want to say, with no repercussions whatsoever. So right. it's always kind of difficult for you know us because I mean, obviously, we have opinions about everything right. that we definitely share here in the garage. <laughs> we steer clear of them. We on steer the show. clear of putting it on the show because I mean, crap. I mean, we're not trying to we're not trying to roll up to work and go. And, Hey James, I heard you heard you have a podcast and you said this about this. Right. Uh we're gonna have to ask you to leave now. So <laughs> Yeah. But so love Joe Rogan. Love love some of these other podcasts out there that uh that they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. So still uh still gonna go on the Joe Rogan show as soon as we get our schedules all that was supposed uh, to the be schedules like are clashing. Yeah, it's, it's almost it's, like yeah. it's supposed yeah. to be tomorrow. He can't <laughs> get his uh he can't get his Skype thing working. Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He, Joe Rogan, please yeah. get your Skype stuff get your working. Shit together, well, Joe. you know now. Now I, I was just talking to him earlier. You know, he's already thinking about. He's already moved here. He's thinking about just coming over here. That'd probably be easier. You know what I mean? Just, just roll boom. into the garage. Let's go. Yeah, uh, you can have Matt's mic. Where's That's he at right. now? Is he in Austin? Is that where he moved to? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so he moved. I'm to sorry, I didn't let you in on East all the California. details. Yeah. So. I feel like every like just predominant 
wealthy, super just are all moving here. Badass is all moving to Texas. Well, we That's got true. Joe Rogan and we got Elon Musk. So close the border, we got them all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just raise the borders. <laughs> yeah. Texas yeah. is going to be all automated, and we're all going to be yes. just like super rich, giant millionaires. Yeah. We're going to be okay. living in the 18th dimension with Joe Rogan while having robots do everything for us well, with Elon Musk. Let me ask you this. Sounds good. <laughs> Would you want a robot cooking your brisket? No. No. That, and the whole fun of it is... Does Elon out. Musk develop a barbecue pit? No. No, he's no. got better stuff to build, but... D- d- he's he building did. flamethrowers. Is he really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna make a barbecue. Pit. I want one of those. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be an AI like you know pellet fed pit. Is he's, he's making gonna Brits, uh, uh, bricks. He's, gonna he's making hats. Uh, shout out to uh, Dusty. He's the one that turned me onto this. Like it, he created a company called the Boring Company. Have you heard about this? Boring, boring. Like that's. Boring. It's got the two dots over the O. Okay. Boring. boring, not boring. boring. It's boring. Got it. So he like wanted to do an fun? idea. He I had totally an idea of um, he wanted to make a million dollars. Elon Musk. Yeah, I think he already has him. No, no, no. Dollars. But he's it's already... like a fun bet, you know. Yeah. Hey, million bucks. Whatever. So he created this boring company, and with nothing to offer, he just created hats that had the logo on it, and sold them for like twenty five <laughs> bucks a pop. For however many hats that he needed to make, did to he make. at least like just tweet it? He's like, "Hey, this is my company, yeah. boring." And he made a million dollars, boom, like that. I fucking nice. hate that guy. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> and then he created a flamethrower. Space balls, the main handheld flamethrower that you can purchase. That he wanted to make like five, ten million, something like that, off doing or whatever. Uh, and it, they marketed it like this is not a flamethrower, but it is a flamethrower. It's a flamethrower. <laughs> and people paid five hundred or thousand or whatever for it, and he sold like a, I don't know a couple hundred of them or whatever Good it was. Lord, and made I just like got my stimulus check in. Money. How much are these things? Let me look right? this up. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it wanted like a like a kind a of a super check? soaker. Really, that sounds amazing. Super soaker, just like like a two thousand. Yep, the yellow and green one. That was the best. That was the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was like a fifty though. Yeah, there was a fifty, the one fifty, yeah, yeah, yeah. the two fifty, and then like the one where you had a backpack with right, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you had yeah. enriched out of that one. Do yeah. they still make those? I don't know. I think not you like can look for them right? and find, but it's not the same. It's not no. the same. Yeah, I mean now they make water balloons because you could take water balloons to a super soaker fight. <laughs> Back <laughs> then, but you had to spend all day blowing that or filling that shit up. Yeah. Now you just drop the thing. All right, let's go, super soaker. Yeah. I just went to their website because I want to see how much it is. It says, buy an overpriced, boring company fire extinguisher. You can definitely buy one of these for less, oh, fire but this one comes with a cool sticker, and the button is conveniently right above. <laughs> that, that, that's their marketing. A fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah. Could we get them to put a link to our t-shirt on their website? <laughs> buy yourself a stupid grab in the brisket podcast. We'd be millionaires t-shirt. overnight. Yeah, we just need to buy him over, have some barbecue, butter him up a little bit. Yes. Boom. I'm going to reach out to him. I'm sure he's on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. No, he definitely. <laughs> he, Twitter, I mean, he answers people all the time. Does I'm he? I'm sure he gets like, I'm going to Twitter him. We'll, we'll do do, do the people know, tweets. do the people know where to go if they need to? Al, to can you please you tell want them us? where to go? Yeah. We'll, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Do the business thing. Well, if yeah. y'all want a flamethrower <laughs> or, or knowledge of any type of flamethrower, hopefully we'll do some research and uh, we can put it on our website, which is www dot grab the brisket dot com um a lot of you can find a lot of our stuff there man our swag shop um you know you can reach out to us uh you can listen to all our podcasts there but if you just you know if you're not into doing wwws like i'm not you can hit us up on twitter which is at grab the brisket you can hit us up on facebook and instagram which is at grab woman the brisket or you can uh email us it is uh grabbing the brisket at gmail dot com so like I say, guys, I gave you all the ways to get a hold of us. If you can't get a hold of us, it's on you. <laughs> Holy shit, that was perfect! Wow, wow, copy I'm, paste yeah. for every single exactly. <laughs> podcast yes. from this point on. Yes. Uh, that was, practicing. I don't even know what to say. Like, I usually feel like I have like seven more minutes to wait for him to get this <laughs> shit right. That was, <laughs> he's already <laughs> editing the episode over here. Yes. You know, <laughs> wow. What do, what, what do we do now? I don't know. Right. That's awesome. Good hey. job, Elton. When I bring myself in, I'm better. That's what Because I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not just like, ah, that's funny. Elton, give him the business. 
<laughs> I would not hit him with the business. Okay. Although it is, <laughs> although that is fun too. Sometimes I'm like, eh, I, I should know the business, but I forget. What do you, who do I work for? I, I think I'm a uh, work for air conditioning, air conditioning company. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, mm. grabbing the brisket here. We definitely appreciate the listen. Uh, for the folks that are like, hey, watch that guy on your left. I know he's driving like an asshole. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the guy that's mowing his lawn, hey, I think you missed a spot. Don't drop the soap, Alex. Exactly. So we love you. We uh, appreciate you guys, and we'll check you guys later. Peace. Alex, Peace. if you drop the soap, just be dirty. Okay. Thanks, everybody. We've been great. Dang it, Bobby. Just grab the brisket. Thanks for listening, guys. Special thanks to our sponsors, Jealous Devil Charcoal, Getty, Cooley Nation, Cambro Manufacturing, Texas Brew Hopper, Smoke Sheet, and Fiesta Spices. For more information on those companies, please check out our website at grabthebrisket.com.